Hi all you wonderful gamers. Um, at the moment I'm just rendering the next playthrough of my Resident Evil um, Zero series for this month of Halloween. And I thought, you know what, I've got nothing better to do. So why not go through some of the equipment and um, all of the stuff that I've actually got. I mean, a lot of other games do this. And I've been doing this for a year now. So I figure why not do something along those lines here. Um, so um, let's get on with it. Okay, first things first, this is my editing studio on the PC, uh, it's Cobble Video Studio X10, the ultimate version, um, I find it very, very good, very simple to use, um, some people prefer Photoshop, um, I found that a little bit slow compared to this. Um, so that's basically about uh, that. Um, as you can see, you've got a Samsung TV, very good picture quality, though I don't like the fact that the headphone socket is actually around the back of the TV and not on the side or at the front or anything like that. Okay, next up, this is my capture card. Yes, I know it's only a Voxio, but it's good enough for my needs. And. Um, there you go, there's my PlayStation 3 looking a little bit on the dusty side. So, oh, that could do a bit of clean, couldn't it? Oh, that's the PlayStation 4 camera, it's got nothing to do with that. I know a couple of Xbox 360 um, hard drives there. That's my Xbox 360. Um, what's that doing on? I don't know. Um, believe it or not, in that mess somewhere, there's actually some PlayStation 1 games which I'll actually have to um, play at some point. So then there's a... Uh, a mess of computer wires. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at some of my games consoles though. There you go, there's my well, Wii, which I use to play Wii games, obviously, in GameCube. There's my PlayStation 2, for which I uh, did one of the Shadow of the Colossus games, and I'm currently working on doing the um, PlayStation 2 version of Eco as well. Um, there's a PlayStation 1 console. It's hardly used, but um, I do use it occasionally. It is chipped, um, which I didn't know it was when I first bought it. Uh, I found out by accident when a friend said, Would you try it? Even though all the, the person I shared a house with, she did have a chip console and she might have actually swapped them over without me knowing. I'm not 100% sure. And underneath that, as you can see, there's a original Xbox used so often you can tell <laughs> it's covered in dust. And then there's a various game peripherals there, and there's Stevie Mills, Guitar Heroes and stuff. Um, I am going to go through all of these at some point. Um, I have also got an Amiga and an ST. So, oh, there you go. There, you just see the top of the ST there. Um, I think there's an Amiga as well in that drawer. So, uh, and finally, <coughs> there's where I've been doing most of my gaming um, so far for the channel. And that's my um, PlayStation 4 there with two external hard drives. Um, I, for those of you on Facebook, you might have seen those adverts for that um, hard drive caddy. I wouldn't really bother buying me that because you can get exactly the same caddy on eBay for about half the price. But these are about £2.50, these cables. And um, I do really recommend you get those. Unless, of course, you really want to um, get a, a proper ca uh, caddy for dust reasons and stuff like that. I might actually get myself some sort of Ziploc bag or something to put them in to protect them while they're out. And uh, as you can see there, the PSVR headset and um i mean over here there's a it's not all of my games collection there's just a little bit of it and uh that's a uh, bit of fan art fan art for a band called mutant monster a japanese punk band uh there's my pal george um those of you who are on facebook and are members of uh, my baby metal fan page will know exactly um what the joke is with that and there's a nice um, Oriental bars I picked up nice and cheap. And then along with some of the games, um, a very, very rare game I managed to pick up for pound. Um, unfortunately, the disc uh, 
won't play um, I think it's Majora's Mask um, I do know some companies you can send it off to and they'll do their best to repair the disc but I can't be uh, I'd, the game sell there I'm not 100% sure I want to be doing that and uh, yeah, there's uh, some Wii games and um, GameCube games the, um, the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker that's the one that comes with the um, two versions of the Ocarina of Time along my PlayStation 3 games right there some good some duffers and uh, some small but likeable oh oh yeah I, I put on the, the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 2 versions of Eco together um, like that void the last guardian where is the last guardian Where's the last guardian? It's knocking about somewhere. Um, huh, who knows? What well, is another one? Um, another GameCube game that they have Resident Evil Zero, would you believe, on the GameCube, which I've never actually played. <laughs> There's um, my Xbox 360 games. I did actually prefer the Xbox 360 over the PlayStation 3. I thought that had a better games library. There's my small but um, likeable um, Xbox games. Uh, Evil Dead Regeneration there for the horror season. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, probably the best Evil Dead game that's came out. And they're the start of my PlayStation 2 collection. And, uh, oh, what's that doing there? Right. And then, uh, like... Continuing then, as you can see, more PlayStation 2 games. Look at Kina, Lord of the Rings, Blu-ray. You know, so, um, and they are over a few um, PC games there. And the continuation of some um, PlayStation 2 games. I've actually got some promotional discs there that were actually given to... Um, store shops that can that uh, contain the full game but like that was used for reviews and similar um what's that there what game's that oh it's need for speed hot pursuit okay and um i was thinking of I'm sure you remember i was um actually thinking about doing that game this um, season, but I didn't finish up on the other two games. Um, fast enough. Ah, there's the last guardian. I couldn't see. It. There you are. Couldn't see. hidden in plain sight. And um, you know, there's just one of the many guitars I own. Uh, my Atari flashback disc. With um, I oh, know that this didn't work. I'll tell you flashback. Um, I might do a review of that at some time, but I'll, I'll be honest. While it was worth it for the price of Gorita, it isn't a very good console. And um, yeah, so um, that's basically it. That's my um, gaming set. Oh, I didn't do my PC, did I? Now, I'm going to warn you now, I do not advise people to have their PC built like this. Um, I should point out that this is cleaned out virtually every week but there you go you got one it um one solid stage drive using one of those um cables i mentioned earlier there's one hard drive there's the main hard drives this oh no it's not it? that one there the the um western digital purple hard drive um I've used the purple one, this one, which mainly that's used for security and CCTV cameras because um, they're designed for constant use for recording video. And so I've actually got one of those. Um, it's got all my anime on, and it's also what I use to actually record my um, video and gameplay on because they're designed for video, they're used for constant use, they're very heavy duty. And um, basically, if you're going to record video, I would personally 
um, suggest going for a hard drive like that that's actually specially designed for videos um, that's just personally on um, some people may um, disagree I wouldn't use them for gaming um, you, not that you can't but um, they might run a bit slow I don't know about the full details of them uh, it might be okay but um, I'm no um, expert and the final part of my setup there you go there that's my own um, blue ray drive it's external usb um again i bought that really cheap it was about 10 pound absolutely brilliant it was um brilliant bargain best one of the best things i've ever ever bought and uh oh yeah well what do i use for my um face cam oh that was a bit close wasn't it and uh this was my original um camcorder camcorder this was absolutely fantastic until it broke um if anyone's interested i've actually got the charger in two batteries for this um camera so if you were uh, if you're looking for batteries on the charger if you've got something that's compatible with this then um No, it's not going to focus on it, but um, JVC Evero, it was a um, very good camera that was. I'm dis so disappointed that that went because the same quality on that was absolutely fantastic. Um, and I bought the uh, original. This is what I bought. It's JVC again, Evero. Again, it's a very good camera. Um, neither of those cameras were um, HD, but um, considering the picture is going to get reduced reduced to um let me do that again um because the picture size is actually reduced um for the video anyway and uh i i figure you only really need standard definition for that because the picture gets shrunk down anyway and you're not really going to be able to tell and uh that's basically it so um there you are, a little bit of my equipment there. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so, uh, tell me, what do you think? Do you think I'm a... <laughs> well, I know I'm a scruff looking around, but... But, um, I hope you appreciate that. Um, a lot of gamers, didn't it? I'm, um, I haven't done it yet, but, yep, yeah, that was my um, little guide to what I've actually um, used to record all my stuff and all the equipment. I've got gaming consoles and stuff. So um, if you like that, then uh, click comment and subscribe and oh, you know the rest. I'll say it's at the end of every gaming video. So I'll be like that and I'll catch you later. And um, halfway through that main event. So um, expect this video to be uploaded pretty goddamn soon too. So uh, thank you very much for watching and good night.